Some find ways to deal with those disappointment and hurt. They find a, a way to cope, a way to, to live. They don't want to deal with the pain. Some they avoid to deal with the pain, but it's very important to deal with the pain until you are completely healed. Protect yourself, protect your heart, and protect your mind. Don't make decisions that will hurt you. At the end of the day, you are going to make decisions and you are going to go into relationship that you are not supposed to go to. You are going to make decisions according your f- about how you feel at that time. So don't take decision when we are angry. Don't take, take decision when we are not healed. Don't take decision when you are in a hurry to deal with the pain. Give yourself, have grace on yourself. Give yourself time so that you'll be able to deal with the, the pain of the infidelity or the affair in a relationship. You have just to make sure that you are okay before you take any decisions. Because as I've said, that many people, they go, they drink, some they become, I, I don't know which words I can use that is proper for me to use, but some they go into relationship that they are not supposed to go into because they are trying their level best to deal with the pain. They want to make someone, they, they, they want other people to make them feel better without them dealing with the pain that they are feeling inside. You, it is very, very important to deal with the pain, to allow yourself to feel ahead, to allow yourself to feel betrayed, so that when everything is said and done, you know that you are okay, and you know that, that everything that happened has nothing to do with you. Give yourself that time, have grace on yourself, love yourself, protect yourself, protect your mind, protect, protect your, 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 your well-being. It's, it, it won't help you to go and drink a poison because you are thirsty. It won't help you. It won't do you any justice. It won't do you any good. You have just to, to know that in it, 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 the, 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 the process that you are going to, the process that you are stepping into is a process. It's not... It, it, actually, it is a journey of your life. You have to walk that journey and it's only you who's going to walk that journey and understand the head and the pain that you are facing. So me saying this, I'm saying this because you have to be so kind to yourself and to love yourself, to love yourself that you say, I am going to to make sure that me and myself and I are okay before you take any decision. In the process of life, we face a lot of things. Take this for an example. There's a dead, there's a loved one who died in the family. Each, each one of us, we are taking the grief, we are dealing with it differently, not the same. So take it like that, that you are going to deal with this situation not like other people are dealing with it. Take it that I am going to deal with this situation the, the, same, the same way that I'm going to deal with if I have lost a someone, someone has passed away. It is like, it is similar, it is the same because you were in this relationship for a long time with this person. You love the person, you trust the person. Then out of the blue, this thing happened. When this thing happened, you have to make sure that whenever you, whatever you do, you do it out of the place of peace. You have peace of mind, 
your heart is healed, your everything in you, it is okay with the decision that you are taking. Because when you do things because you are hurt, when you do things because you are feeling disappointed or unwanted or, or whatever, those things will, will, will haunt you for the rest of your life. Those things because I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure that many, many, as I've said, many of, 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 of people, they, they, they are dealing with this different, differently. Some, as I've said, that they, they, they run to alcohol. Some, they run to many relationships. Some, they run to... You, you, some, they run to church. Some, they run... People, they just find a way to deal with the, 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 the relationship, the, the, the head or the pain. But there are ways that you can deal with the pain without hurting yourself more, without feeling any, any, any disappointment at yourself. As I've said that, you have to forgive yourself first. You have to say, I, I forgive myself. This was not about me. This was, what, this was about the other person. Forgive yourself. You have to forgive yourself and make sure that you are healed and make sure that everything that you do, you do it because you are okay. You do it because now you have forgiven the person next to you, your partner. You have forgiven him, him or her. You have, you have said, okay, it, it, it happened, it is done. Let's move forward. Let's forgive one another. Let's just live and see how best we can make this life be for both of us, for both of you, and mostly for yourself. Because if you are living in a space where you are always where, where you are head, it means that you are so afraid to face the disappointment with the, the head, you are going to live with it for the rest of your life. You have to just be kind to yourself, forgive yourself, and make this life the most of it. Make this life that I'm going to do this for myself, for my family, especially for yourself. Do this for yourself because there's no greater person than you. With all that being said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I'll see you next time with another video. I love you. I love you. Bye.